If you are new to Pro Tools or just starting out making your own music, then this video might help you better understand how Pro Tools works. This is Pro Tools video number one. We'll start from scratch and show you everything from hooking up Pro Tools to your computer to recording a guitar track. We're going to start by showing you how to connect your FireWire cable from your Digi 003 rack to your Mac computer. Here we're going to plug this end of the FireWire cable into the back of Pro Tools. And you're going to plug it right here where it says 1394. You can use either port. And you see the link button came on. That means we were active. Now we're going to plug the other end into the Mac computer. And we're good to go there. Now we're going to show you how to connect speakers to the Digio 03 rack. We're going to go quarter inch to the line input, line one input. And you're going to do the same thing on the other speaker. And now we're going to plug the other end into the back of the 003 rack. And we're going to go into our main jacks here, left speaker and our right speaker. And then we can go ahead and power the speakers on. Now we're going to go ahead and power up Pro Tools rack. We press the power button. It makes four clicking noises as you'll see the lights lighting up and it makes a click noise like I said and usually it starts in mute so you can go ahead and click that off and we can also turn up our monitor volume now we're going to go ahead and power up our Mac pressing the power button and the Mac loads all its information here and brings you to the login so you type in your name and password and then click login Now we're going to go down here and find our Pro Tools icon and click that. And that's going to launch Pro Tools. And then it brings you through a little screen here showing you that it's everything's loading correctly. We're going to start by creating a new blank session. You just want to select create blank session. Now if you want to change any of the session parameters, click the session parameters reveal button. Your safest bet here is BWF, which is a WAV file. It's compatible with Windows and Mac. That's a good option. Or AIFF, which is CD quality and that generally works better on Mac but it is also a good choice and Sound Designer 2 SD2 files is not supported on Windows systems or at sample rates above 48k so it's not a good idea to use that so we're gonna stick with AIFF now we're gonna select a bit depth rate and you can go 16-bit or 24-bit. I usually go with 24-bit. It's better quality and you're much better off. And show quick start dialog when Pro Tools starts. That's just showing this box here. So if you check it, it will bring this box up each time. If you uncheck it, it will just go to your main folder and you can choose from there. Now we're going to choose a sample rate. Now in here you can go 44.1K, 48K, 88.2K, or 96K. Now 96 is your highest and that gives you the most headroom and but it eats up a lot more of your space on your computer. So a good starting sample rate would be 48K. 
Now we're going to select the I.O. settings to use for this session. Here we have last used stereo mix C24 LE stereo and control 24 LE stereo. Those bottom two are for an automated mixing board which we're not using here today so you don't have to worry about those. And a stereo mix, if you click that it will just open your session um, with a stereo mix, a left and right channel. So we're just going to go ahead here and click last used and that's going to open the I.O. settings as we used last time. Very basic. And once you click OK, now it's going to bring you to name the session. We're going to name this guitar song. We want to choose where you want to save the session. And that would be to your desktop or to your Pro Tools folder on your main hard drive of your computer. And then click save. And this automatically opens the edit screen. Now the edit window and the mix window are the two main work areas in Pro Tools. Now we're going to create a new track. We're going to do one of the following to open new track dialogs. Choose track, new, or you can also right click on any track name in the mix or edit windows or track list and choose new. Enter the number of new tracks. Select the track format, mono or stereo. We're going to choose mono track. Now we're going to select the type of track you want to add from the track type pop-up menu. We can also uh, go more into this in another session. We're going to select audio track. Now we're going to select the time base samples or ticks from the track time base pop up menu. Right now, audio in Pro Tools is sample based by default. This means that if an audio region is located at a particular sample location, it will not move from that location if the tempo changes in the session. Now we're going to rename our track. When new tracks are created, they're given a default name that can be changed at any time. Usually, when you create a new track, they just call it Audio 1 and so on. So, we're going to double click here, and that opens this box, and that's how you can change the name. We're going to call it Guitar 1. Then click OK. Now we're going to the Audio Input Pat Selector, and this is track input and output I.O. controls. This is the most basic type of signal routing is track input and output. A track needs to have an assigned input path to record audio. Right now we're going to select A3. And that's where we have our guitar plugged into on the back of the Pro Tools interface. And that's going to give a signal so now we can hear our guitar. And now as you see, as I click the A3, now it's showing my input is A3.